Hey guys, Dean here again. Today I'm going to show you how to install Curse Forge and then how to install mods for Minecraft with Curse Forge. And I'm going to show you how to set up a modded Minecraft version, install mods into it, and get everything working. Because I have a lot of people on this channel, you guys subscribe to me, and new people who have found this video on YouTube who don't know how to install Minecraft mods. And this is the simplest way to do it, and this is the best launcher right now to install mods. I've changed my mind. Curse Forge is currently the best launcher. So let me show you how to set it up. So go to curseforge.com. This will be linked directly down. Down below click on get curse forge app which will be in the top right hand side of the screen which is under my camera right here click on this orange button under my camera this will download curse forge press download save this in your download folder and then just double click on the file here and press run or you can open it from the folder if you're in a different browser just open it from your downloads folder so now as you can see there's this little toolbar in the bottom right hand side of the screen this is the overwolf toolbar we can move this around this is just basically the software which gets curse forge to work so once you've been through the installer this should pop up okay so i'm just going to run the installer one more time and it says it's been installed successfully so you just go through the steps sometimes it asks you to press next 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 and install it sometimes it just installs automatically like that when it installs it hover over it and press curse forge this will open up the curse forge software so from here as you can see i have a ton of different profiles this is because i'm a minecraft mod youtuber so i install all my mod packs through curse forge and i have a few custom profiles but try and ignore all of these for now okay because i'm going to show you now, if you're here for the purpose of installing or downloading mod packs, click the link to the video in the description down below because I have a completely different video on installing mod packs with Curse Forge. I'm going to show you how to install manual individual mods in this video. To create a custom profile, let's say we want to play Minecraft Forge 1.12.2 and we want to install mods from Curse Forge that are supporting 1.12.2. So you can do this with any version. You can do this with Fabric or Forge or Quilt, but I'm going to show you just with 1.12.2 Forge as an example. So press create custom profile at the top. We're going to call this Forge 1.12.2 or just mods, anything like that, just so we don't get it confused. And then our Minecraft version is what we want to install. So I'm going to install 1.12.2. That's our vanilla version. Now, Fabric started, I think it was in 1.15. So the only mod loader that supports 1.12 is Forge. So either go with vanilla Minecraft or Forge. But if you want mods, we're going to go with Forge. Select the latest build, which is 2.8.60 in this circumstance and press create this will now create our profile now i'd recommend just press play one time the reason for this is because you need the game to actually create all the files and folders in the folder structure so everything works properly so i'd recommend before you install any mods just run minecraft once this will open up the launcher now if you're completely new to curse forge and you haven't logged in before to curse forge then it's going to ask you to log into your minecraft account here in the launcher even if you've got minecraft and the minecraft launcher installed this is going to install it in like a separate folder so it's going to ask you to log in again don't worry it's not going to steal your account millions of people use curse forge log in once you've done that it should then have your custom profile we just created in the curse launcher and just press play press i understand that just means that you're using mods and if it crashes or something it's your fault press i understand then it's going to download minecraft vanilla as it usually would but also download forge and create all the game files so now all we're doing at this position or at this step if you like is we're just waiting for the game to install create all the files we want it to create all the folders we want it to like the mods folder so the game doesn't have a problem launching our mods when we install them and so it doesn't crash and we're going to load the game precisely just one time okay once we load it and we know everything's working fine then we know that there's no errors without any mods okay so now we have the mods button we have forge installed and just the default amount of mods loaded which is just the vanilla stuff press quit now what we can go ahead and do is now install our mods so on curse let's say we find our profile which is forge 1.12.2 down here click it once and then this little jigsaw puzzle piece which says add more content we click that and that's how we install mods so from here we can filter any mods we want we can sort by popularity this is just like the same as we do on the curse website total downloads we can look for certain categories so if i wanted to create a mod pack that only i want to play i then go on adventure and rpg for an example maybe i want to install the twilight forest that's a really cool mod maybe we can install ice and fire that's another great mod and formcraft will make like a magic rpg mod pack just go ahead and download some cool mods that i particularly like roguelike dungeons that's another one install any mods that you wish okay so i'm just going to go on all categories we're going to install a recipe viewer just enough items i'm going to install a map mod which is journey map we're going to install these mods now the reason we're using curse forge is since it's hooked into the curse platform and the curse website it's also going to go ahead and install all those mods that the mods depend 
depend on to work. So that means, let's say just enough items needs another mod to work, Curse Forge will install that other mod automatically without us needing to know what it is or without us needing to search it and find it. So it just makes the mod setup process much easier. So when you're done with this step, you can also go to resource packs. You can install resource packs from Curse Forge as well. So we can go ahead and install things like fresh animations, ice and fire animated weapons, tissue zombie pack, things like that. Install anything you want to on here. That's always fun. And also the same for worlds. You can install worlds. So you can install like a void world for 1.12.2 for your mod pack or sky islands, something like that. Let's just go ahead and install it anyway, just for no reason, just so you know how it works. And then we'll go ahead and we'll install a random texture pack as well. So we'll install this ice and fire one. And now we can press X here when we're done with installing all of our mods. And now it's going to list our mods, resource packs and worlds that we've installed. And if we want to enable them, we can click this active button to turn it off to disable them. And then when it's orange, it's enabled. So that's how we can disable mods without completely uninstalling or deleting them. And we can tick these other ones like Twilight Forest that are not enabled. And when we have all the mods enabled and installed that we want from this list and the version is correct and everything's okay, we can start. Now, if we click refresh, this will be so you can refresh to make sure there's no new versions you need to install. If there's new versions, it'll come up with some buttons to update them, which is always useful. And now we can go ahead and press play on Minecraft. So let's go ahead and test our Minecraft. Let's see if our mods are installed correctly and let's set it up. And I'm going to show you another thing after, but first we'll test if our mods are working. So let's just launch the game. There's a few things we can do now, okay? After we've tested our mods, we could create a mod pack and then upload it to Curse Forge. We could share the mods with our friends. We can do a lot with what we've just done. And I'm going to show you how to do that in a moment, okay? Because maybe we want to share the mods with our friends on Discord and play with them on a server. Maybe open our single player world to LAN mode and then give them the mods so they can join us too. And there's a lot of things we can do, right? But let's test our mods first. So now our main menu's changed because we've installed Ice and Fire. If we go on mods, we now have some more mods. So you can see we have Ice and Fire, Just Enough Items, Journey Map, Mousy's Mods, Roguelike Dungeons, Formcraft, and Twilight Forest. Any mods that support a config file, you can press config here and you can change all the settings for that mod and customize it to your liking. That's how you edit mods from in-game. So we're going to press done. From here, we also have our new world we installed. Now, the world we installed was for 1.19. It's in red, which means it doesn't support an older version. So we can't play that world on 1.12.2. But you understand how that works. For resource packs, under options and resource packs, we now have the one we installed here. So we can just click the arrow, press done to enable it. So we now have our resource packs as well. So we're going to just quickly drop in to game to see if all the mods items and things like that are working and then we'll progress into the last step so i'm just going to quickly create a random creative world on a super flat map to test this out boom so now we've loaded into the world as you can see ice and fire so ice and fire seems to be working if we go on creative menu we now have tabs for all of the mods we installed so now we've installed a bunch of magic and rpg mods with different bosses and items and we can go ahead and test these out and as you can see these items here which are animated these were actually from that resource pack we installed so now our items look much cooler than they do if we just install the normal mod without that pack. So that's how to install mods and how to install resource packs and worlds from Curse Forge. There's a lot you can do with this. And now the mods are working. Let's go back into the Curse Forge launcher. So from this point, we can go to our profile and right click on it. So from here, you could click on add more content to do the same thing as before to add more mods. We could also click on view profile, which goes to this screen, which is basically just the same as left clicking on it. We could also open folder. This will direct take us to the directory so we can then manually install mods in here that maybe are not on curse forge that we find elsewhere on the internet and the same for things like resource packs and worlds under the saves folder we can also manually alter the config files here and change any of these files manually also we can click on change image so that's the preview image for our profile in the curse forge launcher if we want to change that which is particularly good if you want to create a mod pack later and also duplicate profile obviously from the open folder section we can also highlight all these files right click add to archive if you've got WinRAR or if you've got a different software and we can put it in a zip file and that's how you'd share your mods and also how you'd create a mod pack to then upload to curse forge okay i don't want to go through really creating mod packs specifically in this video but that's how you would do it so that's a to z how to install and use curse forge to create your own mod packs create your own custom profiles in forge fabric quilt and then install mods to them how to share the mods to your friends and basically just generally play modern minecraft the most simple and quickest way. Hope this video was useful. Smash the like button below if it was and subscribe because we're posting a ton of micro mods videos on this channel every single week. And if you've got any questions, it's my pleasure to help you. So do comment those down below as well. And I'll try my best to get back to you as soon as possible. And I'll catch you real soon.